We have to explain why an increase in income leads to an increase in the price of a product. And we have to do that using a diagram. We could also ask to explain the adjustment process towards a new equilibrium if there's an increase in income. That sounds very sort of highbrow. How are we going to do that? Well, we know an increase in income leads to an increase in the demand for products. So we start off with our initial equilibrium. I've drawn that in. Name the axis, demand and supply, initial equilibrium at the price of four, quantity 3,000. Now there's an increase in income, and we know the increase in income would lead to an increase in demand. But we have to explain, why do we move to this new equilibrium point? Now, let's see, at a price of 4, initially, we were at a quantity of 3,000. Now there's an increase in demand. If the price remained at 4, quantity demanded would have increased to 4,800 and quantity supplied well the price remained at 4 and quantity supplied in other words also remained at 3,000 so we find that quantity demanded equals 4,800 quantity supplied is 3,000 so we have excess demand excess demand now competition amongst bidders there are too many consumers wanting this particular product at a price of 4, will force the price up, will force the price up. So there will be an increase in the price, price going up. And as the price goes up, quantity demanded decreases, movement along the, the curve. And as the price goes up, quantity supplied increases until, yes, until quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied and we have our new equilibrium price of 5. You were with me on this. At the initial price we had excess demand, competition amongst buyers will bid the price up and that competition moves us to the new equilibrium price of 5 rand. 